Hi everybody, welcome back. So last time we did some work on making the Python simple linear regression implemented. And we showed the, basically the groundwork, which is this prediction function, which we made because it's very easy. It just gives, given some beta naught, some beta one, and some input x value, it's gonna return the prediction y hat, which is this formula right here. We kind of made the mean squared error function, which takes, say, a Python list of y's. I'm going to exclude the linear algebra and NumPy library stuff for now to show you can do it all in Python. We'll get to that shortly because it makes it a lot better. But for now, we're going to make this a Python list of just the y's and the y hats and make some calculation to say, okay, what is the error of this function? Or what, what is the error of this line given, given some data? We also have train params, which is whose job is to really get the right beta naught and beta one. And we set it up as a dictionary. So we're going to pass it this thing and it's going to adjust beta naught and beta one accordingly. Okay. So the MSE, we can do that right away. And I I'll switch over to my iPad here. So you can, so you can see that there. And so basically, uh, like this, that's not right. This one. So Basically, we have the MSE is one over N times the sum as I goes from one to N of the predictions. So Y hat I minus Y I squared. There is a really nice way to write this using linear algebra, but we haven't seen this yet. So I'm going to do it in some kind of irritating code like this. So exactly what it is, well, N is equal to the length, which in Python we write it as len, the len of either the y's or the y hats, they better be the same length. So that's n taken care of, we can do that later. Now we need to, one at a time, sum over the difference between them and square it. So I'm going to say val or t basically, basically total, total loss or total squared, but really it's going to be total squared loss. So total squared loss is going to be zero for now. And then what we'll do is just one at a time go through uh, go through a y, uh, an actual y, and a prediction, subtract them, square that value, and add it to the total. So then to really set this up in the same way as it is written in the math, we would do for i in range up until n. So that's going to go from i is 0 up until n minus 1. Those are going to be the proper indices for our Python list. So we could do yi is equal to the y's sub i, and then y i hat is equal to the y hats sub i. So we have each of those two things as variables now. We could calculate their difference because we need to get that. Difference i is equal to, and it doesn't matter the order because we're going to square it afterwards to make it positive anyway. So it's y i minus y minus y i hat. And yes, this is actually backwards from what I wrote in the math, but it's exactly the same thing. Y i is minus y i hat, and then difference i squared, so we need to square this thing, is equal to diff i times diff i. That's all squaring is, it's, it's multiplying it by itself. So then that's the value that we need to sum up. So then we can just do at the end here, total squared loss plus equals. So add whatever we got to it. First it's zero, but then we're going to accumulate this thing. Diff i squared. Okay. So then by the end of this loop, we've gotten everything. We did, we added up all the differences and to get the MSE, we simply need to return the total squared loss divided by n. Okay. And that is it. That is your mean squared error function. 